Hello everyone, this is Drew Drew Drives at Grubbs Family Dealerships and today let's go for a drive in this 2021 Lexus IS350 F Sport. This vehicle is powered by a naturally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 with 311 horsepower, automatic transmission. You have shift paddles behind the steering wheel. You have the touchpad and the touchscreen. Luckily, because the touchpad is not very good on Lexus products, it's one of the biggest uh, pitfalls of Lexus cars is the touchpad. But at least this has touchscreen capability as well. You also have Apple CarPlay. The gauge cluster is amazing. Lexus has one of the coolest gauge clusters in the car industry. I'm surprised this car doesn't have Sport Plus, which I find interesting. I drove an RC350 F Sport 2021 and had Sport Plus, which is a little weird. But one good thing that the IS has over the RC is the IS's screen is, you know, way easier to see. In the RC, the dash looks way more outdated and it's blended and the screen is blended into the um what do you call it? The dash. So it's really hard to see it. But in this one, I don't, I don't have that issue. I like this Lexus clock in the center as well. You have a reverse camera. Resolution is not all that great, to be honest. It could be a lot better. You have some storage space right there. Seats are pretty comfortable. You have heated steering wheel, heated seats, and ventilated seats up front. I do really like this steering wheel. I think the Lexus steering wheel and gauge cluster looks really, really good. It's one of the, the gauge cluster is the only, one of the only things that makes the interior look, look modern because this interior has been around for a really, really long time. It's pretty outdated as a whole, but the gauge cluster is one of the shining points of it. And the thick steering wheel is really cool too. This IS350 F Sport is finished in a beautiful blue color. Looks fantastic. You have nice daytime running lights as you can see. Dark chrome finish to the wheels. Here are your rear seats. Here's your trunk space. Pretty good. I like how it says F-Sport there. F-Sport badge. It's a good looking car. It looks really nice in this color. I love it. Beautiful color. I, I don't really see this color too often. So I'd imagine it's pretty popular if found in the used market like this one but yeah i'm just really confused about that sport plus thing i don't know why it doesn't have sport plus not sure what's going on there visibility is pretty good yeah, I think Lexus did a great job with the design of the facelifted IS. It looks really, really nice. I do find it weird how it has incandescent turn signals though, and incandescent turn signals in the back, front and back. That's a little strange. And the thing with the paddle shifters in these is that they are not very responsive. This transmission is not that great. I think it's like a torque converter automatic. I've said it before, if this car had like a dual clutch or a ZF8 or something, it would be so much better. But I think the transmission is what holds back a lot of Lexus cars, even like the ISF, I mean the RCF, IS500, the transmission is really holds it back, especially the IS500 with, you know, a naturally aspirated V8 with so much power, the transmission is just really slow to respond. In, in general compared to other sporty sedans but you know um, if you get this car to daily drive you want a luxurious good looking pretty quick daily driver which is reliable this is definitely the car for you you would really like this car sounds pretty dang good Yeah, smooth ride. I'm 
But when you put your foot down, it definitely takes the car a second to, you know, pick up. And that's what I mean where the transmission lags a bit. But man, man, the IS500. I was blown away by how good it sounded. It was ridiculous. One of the best sounding uh, sedans. Like, I was like, I cannot believe that engine sound is coming from a Lexus of all cars. I mean, even this V6 sounds really, really good. But yeah, I mean, yeah, this car is, I would not say it's fast. It is not fast at all, in my opinion. It's its quick, like, you know, for normal driving and stuff. But yeah, it definitely could be quicker than what it is. And also, another thing that's kind of bothering me is the turn signal. I hate how it goes back to center. So you have to, to turn it off, you have to keep pressing the other way, and then you'll put the other signal on. Um, some brands did that for a while. Lexus did it, BMW did it for a while, and they went away with it because nobody liked it. Where the turn signal stock goes back to center. It's, uh, there's no need to complicate a simple procedure. When, the turn, when you use a signal, just keep it down so when you're done, you can push it back up. Why is it going back to center? I don't see the point of that. There's really no point of it to me, personally. But yeah, I mean, overall, driving impressions of the car, as I was saying, um, comfortable, handling is pretty good, acceleration is alright, uh, transmission is pretty laggy, especially if you try to use the paddles, it takes a while for it to respond to you. But nonetheless, it is, a, it is a, I mean, I'm, I always like look for performance characteristics in a car but not everybody who buys a luxury sedan like this is going to be caring too much about all of those things that I mentioned. I mean, at the end of the day, it is a nice car. It looks really good. Interior feels quite nice. Um, and it would, it's a nice daily driver, that's for sure. And yeah, especially in this blue color, you'll definitely, it'll definitely be eye-catching. And as I said, the facelifted, uh, I mean, yeah, the facelifted IS looks fantastic. When I get my hands on an IS500, I will definitely get a driving video on that. But anyways, thank you for watching another video of Drew Drives. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. And be sure to check out the link to Grubb's Family Dealerships in the description below if you'd like to shop for cool pre-owned vehicles such as this one.